starting with this 1970 Rosewood dime. It's a proof issue, as you can see, and it is graded as PR69 Cameo by PCGS. But the condition is not only thing, only factor that makes this coin so valuable. The main factor is a missing S mint mark mm, above the date. Here we see that there is no S mint mark S standing for, for San Francisco mint where they produced the proof coins. The 1970 no S Roosevelt time is rare, highly sought after variety among collectors. This coin is a proof dime minted at San Francisco Mint, which typically bears an S mint mark. However, due to a minting error, some of these proof dimes were produced without S mint mark, making them valuable and scarce. The no S proof Roosevelt dime from 1970 is designated as FS501 in the Cherry Picker's Guide to Rare Die Varieties. It was created when the proof dies intended for use at the San Francisco Mint were inadvertently polished or struck without the S mint mark. As a result, only a limited number of these wrong dimes were released, making them highly desirable in the numismatic community. In the terms of grading, 1970 OS dime is especially valuable in higher proof grades such as PR69 Cameo in here. The cameo designation refers to the coin's contrast between frosted design elements and a mirror-like background which enhances its visual appeal. So this particular specimen was sold for $3,000 in 2024 at Heritage Auctions. So our next coin is this wonderful penny, a wartime cent, 1941 D. Lincoln cent, in uncirculated, superb gem condition and with some attractive hues. This sharply struck and enlarged destruction free penny was graded as MS68 red by NGC. A new record was set when the 1941 descent became the first Denver mint coin to have a mintage exceeding 1 million pieces, superior in striking quality to most P and S mints. 1941 cents, this issue is readily available in fully red gem. But MS68 specimens like this one are extremely hard to locate. An NGC MS68 grade signifies that the coin is in near perfect condition with only minor imperfections visible under magnification. It's considered a superb gem with a sharp strike details, a full mint luster, and exceptional eye appeal. Due to its rarity in this grade, the 1941 D. Lincoln Sand graded MS68 can fetch a high price at auction, often ranging from $5,000 to $10,000 or more, depending on coins, eye appeal, luster, and overall quality. This wonderful gem ended up selling for $4,440 in 2024 at Heritage Auctions. Let's move on with another rare coin. Here is 1948 the Rosewood dime struck at the Denver Mint. It is a notable coin for collectors, especially in high grades like MS68 with attractive toning. Now, the 1948 D is a part of early Roosevelt dime series which began in 1946 following the death of Franklin D. Roosevelt. This dime had a massive mintage, making it fairly common in circulated and lower uncirculated grades. However, finding one in mint state 68 is rare, especially with appealing toning. In MS68 conditions, the 1948 Roosevelt dime is one of the most one of the finest known examples with only small number certified at this grade by PCGS. The tone designation refers to the natural coloration that the coin surface develops over time due to exposure to environmental elements often resulting in a spectrum of colors. Toning can significantly enhance a coin's eye appeal and desirability among collectors, particularly when it's even vivid and attractive. This terrific 10 cent piece ended up selling for $2520 at heritage auctions. Here we have another attractively toned gem. This is a circulation quarter dollar, but in uncirculated condition. NGC graded this coin MS68. 
conditionally rare top grade example. This specimen comes with mint mark D, which is shown here on the reverse side of the coin, between olive branch and face value. A top graded example of this otherwise plentiful Denver issue showing a bold strike and satiny mint luster devoid of discernible abrasions. NGS and PCGS combined reports few coins this fine. These pieces yield freckled russet and blue border toning with brilliant interiors that complement bold strike. It was sold for $2,280 at Heritage Auctions. Here we have another rarity. 1955 Lincoln Sand with double die of Bruce, the one of the most popular mint error coins of all times. Even with clean surfaces, this coin fetched thousands of dollars. Imagine how valuable it would be if hasn't been touched by likely the clueless handler. This 1955 uh, double die sent was sent for grading to PCGS and the grading agency gave it a genuine cleaned uncirculated details but confirmed that it is actual a double die obverse sent. All letterings of obverse are clearly doubled, most evidently seen on the date 1955 and the motto in God we trust. The doubling is so bold that it could be seen with naked eye. As the coin was cleaned, it shows some attractive tonings on obverse, both on obverse and reverse side. It was sold for $2160 on August 18th, 2024 at Heritage Auctions. And this is magnificent 1967 Washington quarter dollar in superb gem condition. Look at this beauty, how well defined it is. Device elements. The design elements are sharply struck. The fields display lustrous, contact free surfaces. PCGS graded this coin MS68. It is tied for fineness at the grading service. The high mintage and available. 1967 Washington Quarter becomes incredibly rare at the lofty MS68 grade, where PCGS reports only three coins with none finer. NGC shows only a dozen pieces in this grade with one finer as of 2024. The current registry grade PCGS example displays brilliant, virtually flawless surfaces with brilliant satin luster. It was sold for $3,960 on August 12, 2024.